Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the fourth video of the series. Uh, today I'm going to talk about if clause and I choose and some other conditions, uh, how to write and or that kind of things. So let's get started. So this is the article for the video. I'm going to give a link for this uh, video in the description. And uh, I'm going to add the link for the video also in this article that way it's easier for you to follow along okay and today I'm going to talk about the if clause and or that's the first topic and if clause working with numbers and dates like a greater than less than and all and uh, choose okay let's start with the first one if clause so what if we have multiple uh, conditions we want to check like uh, first of all, how to write if and then multiple conditions, right? So the use case here is like uh, we are looking at a uh, few employees where the employees company is like GMS USA and GMS Germany and uh, Location is office or store Okay First we want to fetch all the employees who are working for company GMS USA and they are working from office Okay that's our AND condition. So how do we write AND condition here? Like a GMS USA AND location. And this is the syntax. I'm not going to go into the details. Anyways, you can refer to this, all this. Okay. So let's run this. I'm going to copy the XSLD. See here, this is output. There's only one employee who is satisfying both GMS USA and uh, they're working from office. We want to see R. We don't want and, but we want R. Okay. See here, there are two employees who are satisfying this. Right. So that's about the and or and you can add parentheses for example if you have and or multiple combinations you can add parentheses and all okay then the next condition is if clause working with numbers and dates the the difference between the numbers uh, versus text is text you can only use equal to whereas with numbers and dates you can have greater than and less than the problem with the greater than less than is the symbols greater than less than symbols are reserved for XML and XSLT language, so we cannot use as it is. So, what is that? There is some alternative that is ampersand LT colon that is for less than, and if you are putting equal to that is less than or equal to, and for greater than, it's just like uh, instead of L, it is G. GT stands for greater than, LT stands for less than, so that's very easy. So uh, the use case here is uh, we want to find all the employees whose annual salary is uh, less than 100,000. And uh, one more condition is that hire rate is greater than 1st of January 2020. Okay, let's run this. I'm going to copy the XML first. Next, I'm going to copy the XLD. This is output. Okay, I'm not going to go in, explain into the details. So that's about it. And the third example is choose. Why choose? Why not uh, if, right? For example, if we want to, we have a very complicated uh, condition, and then we want to do what if that particular row is not satisfying that condition, like the alternative, like otherwise, right? So we don't want to repeat all the condition and then like that, right? So there is in that case, there is some alternative called choose. So choose will come with choose and when and otherwise. So we want to write a complicated condition here. And then if it is not satisfying, then it automatically drops to the otherwise. We can have multiple multiple when conditions as well. For example, first condition, second condition, third condition, and none of the condition is being satisfied, then go to the otherwise. So the 
the use case here is like I'm trying to find all the employees whose annual salary is less than 100K. If less than 100K, I'm going to give uh, text as, sorry, um, it's like, <laughs> this is less than, and this is greater than. Okay. So, let's copy the XML first. Next, XSLD. Now, transform. Annual salary is less than 100K, and then this is giving annual salary is greater than 100K. So, that's about uh, today's topics. So, uh, let's meet in another video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.